as the night of the full moon get closer, even though weak, Anton had begun to transform bit by bit every night due to the cycling of the moon. And Lenny Griffith understand this, for he had his own sinister plan in mind. Now, going back to his previous question, which Anton tried to evade, he asked him which one of the wolves does he feed when he transforms, or which one is in control, the good wolf or the evil wolf, in which Anton replied that he only obeys the will of the wolf, which makes him stay around praise to hunt, and that he had passed through this town on several occasions. Then as Lenny was listening to Anton's story about his victims, he made mention of a woman he encountered in the mountains whom was badly injured, that by killing her and devouring her was a favor because it seems she wasn't going to make it. In anger, Lenny laid into Anton, realized he was talking about his late wife, and began to beat the hell out of Anton. Suddenly, he heard the voice of his sister-in-law, Nora, whom had been on his case since his wife died. Immediately, he covered Anton's mouth, preventing him from making any sound. Nora couldn't go into the house, for she believed that Lenny wasn't in. She could have gone into the house, but she and Lenny left things in a bad taste when they last spoke and as a police officer she had no warrant to go in lenny being distracted was struck by anton freed himself from his bondage quickly lenny picked up a screwdriver from the floor stuck it into anton's rib as anton simultaneously had butted lenny and he ran upstairs busted out of the basement bleeding and a bit weak anton reminisced about his past and how he had lived through the years and at one point he tried to commit suicide for he never asked for any of this but as he tried to kill himself he came back to life in the form of the werewolf killed the victim who was a woman he had a one night stand with and then the police cornered him and shot him in which he made an escape into the woods as he moves further he discovered what seems to be a booby trap walked over it but was surprised that his neck step will result in him falling into a ditch which was actually not a trap but an abandoned well at the backyard of the house and Lenny dragged Anton back to the basement and chained him up observing Anton changing by the night as the full moon gets closer as Darren got into the house he got a note from Shay his son's nanny that Darren was in the hospital and that he was vomiting blood for this was bad news. Les Phillips, who believes his fortune had changed, began to boast to the bar manager, Jesse, that some money was coming his way and asked to make a phone call, which was to Lenny Griffith. Jaron had to remain in hospital for he was very sick and the reality is that he was dying. As soon as the doctor sees Lenny, he screamed for the guards and quickly Lenny kissed his son and jets off. Now Les Phillips came to the house of Lenny knowing he wasn't in his house and went down to his basement and saw Anton chained up pointed the gun at him making Anton know that he was taking him to the police station as Anton promised to comply pretending to be vulnerable and weak but before Les could know what was happening Anton wrapped the chain he was bound with around the neck of Les Phillips and strangled him to death